Hello everyone, my name is Tate Bamidian. I'm a composer and pianist originally from Armenia. I would like to introduce you to Komitas, who is one of the most distinguished figures in Armenian musical art. Komitas, whose given name is Sogomo Sogomonian, was an Armenian priest, composer, ethnomusicologist, singer, choir master, and teacher. Komitas was born in 1869 in Anatolia, Turkey. Komitas is one of the first Armenian musicians who obtained professional training in Western classical music and used his training to build national music traditions. One of the most valuable contributions of Komitas is his collecting of folk songs. He went to many Armenian regions, collected and wrote down thousands of Armenian, Kurdish, Persian and Turkish songs, giving them new life and preserving them for future generations. Komitas' detailed study on Armenian music put the foundation of Armenian musicology and established it on scientific basis. Besides his original compositions, Komitas also arranged folk songs for piano and choir and he performed those choir arrangements with his own choir, aiming to promote Armenian music and to make it accessible to wider audiences. In April 1915, along with hundreds of Armenian intellectuals, Komitas was arrested and deported to prison camp by Ottoman government. Komitas witnessed the atrocities of Armenian genocide during which one and a half million Armenians were killed by Ottoman Turks. Witnessing the death marches and the massacres of the Armenian people, Komitas experienced mental breakdown and he spent the rest of his life in a psychiatric hospital in Paris. Komitas is widely seen as a martyr of genocide and has been depicted as one of the main symbols of Armenian genocide in the literature and arts. Komitas is considered the founder of Armenian classical music and with his contribution he has served as an inspiration to generations of Armenian composers to this day. Komitas' compositions and folk song arrangements have been performed by numerous ensembles and performers throughout the world and they continue to be popular in different countries. Honoring the memory of Komitas today, I would like also to remember all those people who have been forced to leave their homeland and separated from their loved ones and lost their dear ones. I would like to dedicate this video to all those people.